What's new on this year's MacBook Pro? Not a whole lot on the outside. Everything kind of comes from within and the new M4 lineup of chips. So there's technically one cosmetic difference this year, and that's if you get the nano texture display option. You can get the machine in a 14 or 16 inch size this year. You can get it in silver and space black. Now the display is a little bit better in terms of brightness. We go up from 600 on the M3 model for SDR content up to 1000, and you're still at 1600 for HDR content. Now all of the connectivity and IO is the same this year, but the three Thunderbolt ports this year are Thunderbolt 5. Now the M3 Max machine that I had last year is almost spec for spec in terms of the configurations. We have Geekbench scores, 3,000 for single, and almost 21,000 for multi-core on the M3 Max. 3,600 for single and 25,000 for multi on the M4 Max. For OpenCL and Metal, we have 98,000 and 163,000 for the M3, and 119,000 and nearly 192,000 for the M4 Max. 